it's International Polar Bear Day. So we thought that we would bring you up to Project Polar One here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park and tell you all about this fabulous purpose-built facility that was designed to aid polar bear welfare, conservation and research. Project Polar One is a 10 acre reserve. It consists of three separate areas for the bears, all slightly different to make sure that the bears have lots of variety in their day. They have different hills, different levels. The bears can see out and they can smell everything as well. And that's really good for them. Uh, it's nice and stimulating, stimulates nice natural behavior. Behaviors. We also have a fabulous set of lakes within our reserve, which are seven meters deep. Our polar bears are marine mammals. Uh, they love to swim. Um, so that's exactly what we want to encourage here at Project Polar One. It's not just large areas of water that we need to provide for the bears to keep them happy. They have access uh, to different substrates and vegetation. Um, and we also keep them busy by managing them differently. So polar bears are known as being solitary in the wild and we do give our bears opportunity to do that. But what we found found um, in this situation is actually that bears prefer a little bit of company so we offer a choice to our bears to either be on their own in a day or to be in a social group and what we've seen is that it has a massive impact on their mental and physical welfare because if they're together and they want to play they'll exert loads of energy playing and that's brilliant we, that's absolutely what we want to encourage so we look for behavioral signs in the bears to indicate whether or not they want to mix with a particular bear in the morning um, and then we just follow those behavioral cues with animals this big keeping them nice and happy and healthy is also tied into how much we feed them and animals this large uh, definitely go through a lot of food they can eat over 200 pounds worth of food in a week kilo wise maybe 120 kilos per bear per week um, so they definitely keep the team busy with meat prep and we don't always feed at the same time every day. We keep it super varied. Um, the bears can either have a massive 25 to 30 kilo feed or maybe next to nothing. And that's to replicate what they would eat in the wild. Some days they would have a massive feed and then they go for quite a long period with nothing. Um, and we want to feed them in as natural a pattern as possible. So that's why we feed that way here. One of the most important parts of being a polar bear keeper at Yorkshire Wildlife Park is actually the training that we do with our bears. Um, we don't train them tricks. They are trained to participate in their own medical care, which not only aids their welfare, um, but it makes them a lot easier to manage as well. And it means that we actually don't have to anesthetize a bear for something as simple as a blood draw or a foot x-ray. We can actually do all that totally conscious. So we have fitted specialized training apparatus into our polar bear house to help us do that. There's a special head crate um, and uh, the bears are trained to put their head in there and we could do eye, ear, mouth exams in there or head x-ray if we wanted to and that's also we can also move that into a lower position and do the foot x-rays in there we also have a slightly smaller sleeve um, and that is designed for us to take uh, blood from the polar bear's feet uh, it doesn't hurt them at all it's just a little sharp scratch we train for that um, uh, so we can take blood samples and that's really really important because they not only indicate the health of all of our bears by studying their blood chemistry but it also means they can be used for comparative studies across many facilities and Yorkshire Wildlife Park actively takes part in in research for polar bears we work uh, through the wildlife foundation and we aid polar bears international which are helping to build a body of research to help polar bears in the wild um, we also uh, took part in a study for care for the rare and that helps to improve the lives of polar bears in captivity all of which we're super passionate about we uh, practice all of that here and we want all polar bears uh, to have a long and happy future